Hey guys, so today I'm going to be unpackaging and reviewing all my Funko Pops. So, I have uh, a new one, the uh, Cavity Sam from the Operation game, board, or board game. It's a classic. And then I have Rob Zombie. He is a rock artist uh, slash musician, and he is also a movie director. So, here we go. So, here we have the Rob Zombie one. So, I'm going to unpackage this. Man, I love unpackaging the Funko Pops. It's always the best part. Now, guys, always make sure you keep the boxes. Because if you ever need to sell them, uh, you always need those. So, here we go. We have Rob Zombie. He's pretty cool. Um, he has a little X on his forehead, like he does in his movies and his uh, songs. He has his uh, signature hair. Uh, pretty cool. He's ripped jeans. And then on the box, it's his side. This is him, Rob Zombie. And then front, Rob Zombie. And then the back is a picture of him, and then his little Funko Pop right there. It's pretty cool. This is front view, and then back. Uh, now we're going to review Cavity Sam. Now this one I got because it's just classic. I kind of needed this in my collection. So this is the front side with a little game board. Pretty cool. And we have the operation like thing on the back. And then, so we're going to unbox it. Now, this is the fourth one in the Retro Toy Series, so it's kind of a cool package. So, okay, here we have Cavity Sam. So, this is top down view on the side. As you can see, like on the, board, like on the actual game, he has little slots where you put his objects back in his body. This is the back view. The front. It's pretty cool. Looks exactly like he does in the game. I'll put up a little picture right now uh, of what he actually looks like in real life. And yeah, there's a side by side for both of them. They don't really relate at all. I just got both of them. Okay, now I'll put these up here. Okay, so we're finished with the unboxing now. And then we have, well, we have Rob Zombie and his box. And then we have Cavity Sam from uh, Operation and his box. So that's, those are the two that I got today. And um, so I'm going to review my other ones. And at the end, I'll actually do the ratings. So I also have Pennywise. So this one, he has his balloon, and then he has his classic orange hair, and his suit. This is one of my favorites. And I also have Deadpool. So this one's actually a bobblehead. Kind of cool. And then one of my mini collections is the Bendy and the Ink Machine series. Uh, there's not actually Bendy, which is kind of lame, but, so we have this one, we have this one, because they stand up straight, so I'll just put them on my hand, and then you can see them. And then, we also have, him. also from the Bendy series, Bendy series. So I'm still collecting them, I have one more left, and hopefully I can find it. And then, 
don't know how I got this one, but he is the first one I ever got. I think he's from Call of Duty. I'm not too sure. It's kind of just random. I just got him one day. It's cool. He has a suit and this generic Funko Pops face. Okay. I also have a mini uh, superhero Funko Pops that I got for a Christmas advent calendar, so that's cool. I have like Doctor Strange and Loki, stuff like that. Um, no, I so this is Black Knight from Fortnite. This is the only one from Fortnite I have, but hopefully I'll get some more. And then, so, just like the Fortnite version of him, except for he has a big head, pretty cool. Now I'm going to get the special one that I have. So if you've ever seen Stranger Things, you'll know what this is. So, it has Eleven versus the Demigorgon. So this is when she supposedly died in the first season. This is side by side. So it actually has a little room. And then she's killing the Jimmy Gordon using all her power. It's pretty cool. He's in he's in the wall. You can't take eleven off, sadly. Or the Demi Gordon, but it's cool. This is what it looks like underneath. Yeah. So now I'm going to rate them. This one, 9 out of 10, easily. Really good. And then, so, Pennywise, I would say 8 out of 10. He's, I mean, the hair is, like, neon orange. And he can't, I mean, he can stand up pretty straight, but sometimes he falls down. We have Rob Zombie, the new one that I got. Um, I think in real life he's a little paler, but other than that, spot on, man. Uh, so I'd give him 9 out of 10. His movies are great. We have Black Knight from the, uh, uh, Fortnite. I would give him 7 out of 10. I mean, he's okay, but he doesn't really have too much detail. And then we have Bobblehead Deadpool. I really like this one. He has katanas that he's using. Uh, he has a bobblehead. Uh, 8 out of 10. See. One from my Bendy series. Um, I'd give this 10 out of 10, really. I love how they put the head on, all the wires drooping back, and uh, that it doesn't fall over. It stands perfectly. Then we have Cavity Sam. This one I love. He actually twists his head, which is cool. So, 10 out of 10. I really like this one. It's almost as good as the other one that was 10 out of 10 this one. Um, so and then we have this which I would give 6 out of 10 I like the shape and what they did at the back but it doesn't stand up it just falls down so that's kind of lame but. and then we have there should be one more in the Oh yeah, this guy. I really like this guy. Give him 9 out of 10. He has the mouth up at the top. He has whatever this is. And then his face. And he has three arms. 9 out of 10. Really good attention to detail. With the Bendy series. And then all the superhero mini ones. Oh, whoa. I would rate... Not 10 out of 10, actually. I got all of these in one advent calendar. And it was fit for the price and hopefully you enjoyed this rating if you want me to do anything else just comment down below i'm really running out of video ideas so please help